Are you struggling with sluggish app performance, frustrating crashes, and dependency headaches? Android Studio Iguana delivers powerful new tools to tackle these challenges and is now available for download in the stable channel. This version includes new features that help find bugs faster, create better UIs, manage dependencies with ease, and test on the latest Pixel devices. Let's explore the most exciting changes in store for this release. Android Studio Iguana includes the IntelliJ 2023.2 platform release, which has many new features such as support for GitLab, text search in Search Everywhere, color customization updates to the new UI, and a host of new improvements. Iguana helps accelerate your debugging and get to the bottom of issues seamlessly. Version control and app quality insights now integrates Crashlytics with Git history, making it easy to pinpoint the exact line of code causing crashes, even in frequently updated apps. Crashlytics now lets you drill down into crash variants within app quality insights so you can isolate differences in stack traces to pinpoint the true root cause of similar crashes. We've also added new tools to help you design more adaptive and accessible UIs while improving performance for complex projects. The new UI check mode for Jetpack Compose Preview acts like a built-in QA assistant, automatically catching layout and accessibility problems across screen sizes. Build Compose UIs faster and ensure they work for everybody. Compose Preview gets a performance upgrade with progressive rendering. Minimize lag when handling multiple layouts. Focus on your UI, not waiting. We know testing your app is important. Iguana continues our trend of helping simplify and scale your testing. Boost your app's launch speed and responsiveness by up to 30% with baseline profiles. And with new module templates in Android Studio, adopting baseline profiles for your app is even easier. The Espresso Device API helps you test layout changes, such as screen rotation, folds, and more, so you can catch potential UI bugs early, ensuring your app works flawlessly across configuration changes and form factors. Android Emulator now includes the latest Pixel devices, even foldables. Ensure your app looks and functions perfectly across a wide range of screen sizes and form factors. Finally, we continue to improve on Android Studio's build tools. Android Studio Iguana improves support for Gradle version catalogs. Manage all your project dependencies in one centralized place, saving time and simplifying updates for a smoother workflow. Let's explore all these updates in a bit more detail. In the past, it could be challenging to use Firebase Crashlytics information from a release version of an app when your source code changes over time. Iguana now integrates Crashlytics with your Git history, enabling you to navigate to the exact line of code where and when a crash happened. You can even compare the current code with the code from the time of the crash. This saves time and eliminates the guesswork of trying to match old crash reports with your updated code. To enable this feature for your project, you'll need the Android Gradle plugin 8.3 or higher and use the latest Crashlytics SDK. Ever get a Crashlytics report where the crashes seem similar but you just can't find a pattern? Now there's a solution to help. App Quality Insights breaks down crashes into variants based on stack traces that are similar, helping in your analysis of the root cause of a crash. For Crashlytics reports that have variants, you can now select a variant from the drop-down menu and analyze events that share similar root causes. This reduces those frustrating, almost identical crashes. Now let's discuss some features that can help you design better UIs. Android Studio Iguana introduces a new UI check mode in Compose Preview. It works like a built-in accessibility and layout scanner, catching issues like stretched text and low contrast across multiple screen previews. You can find UI problems early in the process with highlights and a list of issues in the Problems panel, enabling you to build smoother UIs with less frustration. To try this out, click the UI check icon in Compose Preview. Compose previews in Iguana now implement progressive rendering, enabling you to iterate on your designs even faster. This feature automatically lowers the detail of out-of-view previews to boost performance, meaning you can scroll through even the most complex layouts without the lag. Now let's talk about some of the features that will help improve your app testing. Baseline profiles can speed up app startup by up to 30% by pre-compiling classes and methods. In Iguana, you can now generate baseline profiles for your app using Baseline Profiles Generator Template from the new module wizard. The template configures your project and generates the classes and run configurations you need to generate Baseline Profiles with just a few clicks. Android Gradle Plugin 8.3 and Android Emulator 
now support the new Espresso device APIs. These APIs simulate configuration changes in a synchronous way so you can test how your UI responds to screen rotations, folding, or app resizing. Catch layout bugs before they hit your users and build rock-solid apps that work flawlessly across multiple devices and orientations. Additionally, new gRPC support in the Android emulator enables more complex test automation by enabling you to control emulated features. With Android Studio Iguana and Android Emulator 34.2, you can now test your device on the latest Google Pixel device configurations. This release includes the Pixel Fold, Pixel Tablet, Pixel 8, Pixel 8 Pro, and Pixel 7a. We'll continue to add new virtual devices so that your app can be tested against the newest form factors. These next set of updates focus on build tools. Android Studio Iguana has improved support for Gradle version catalogs, giving you a more manageable, efficient development workflow. When you need to update a dependency, instead of hard coding the names and versions into individual build files and updating each entry, you can create a centralized version catalog of dependencies. Each module can then reference the version catalog in a type safe way with Android Studio Assistance. For your existing projects, you should consider making the switch today to benefit from these improvements. Iguana now warns you about potential Google Play policy issues directly in your code through integration with the Google Play SDK index and its database of safety, privacy, and policy issues for hundreds of common libraries. Fix problems early and avoid publishing delays or rejections on the Google Play Store. Android Studio Iguana displays a warning if your project uses a compile SDK that isn't supported by your current IDE version. If available, it also suggests moving to a version of Android Studio that supports the compile SDK used by your project. Save time troubleshooting, and avoid these frustrating surprises. And that's a wrap on all the new updates in Android Studio Iguana. I'm sure many of you are already downloading the updates. If you haven't, now's the time for you to get started. Download the latest version and incorporate these new features into your workflow. As always, we appreciate any feedback on things you like, any bugs you discover, or any new features you'd like to see in future versions of Android Studio. Check below for more details and click like and subscribe for the latest updates. Oh, and share with a fellow Android app developer. See you next time.